all right welcome back so in this session i'm going to show you how to create the handles of the vase and then we're going to mirror that to the you know to the right side over here after we're done so let's go ahead and start by creating our sketch for that so i'm going to actually make sure that i am on the front plane and i want to make sure that the front plane and that's why i drew started out my sketch doing it from the origin because i want that front plane to be at the center of my vase okay so now that i have that at the center of my vase make sure you have that front plane um, selected over here and then click on sketch okay and let's go ahead and click on the preview over here and click on normal too so you are normal to the front plane go ahead and click on the points over here so right now i'm not looking for perfection all i'm looking for you to do is draw a bunch of dots over here that we can connect later that shape up around a, a handle okay so for example i'm going to create point over here point over here point right on the line at the edge over here point here okay point over here point over here and then point over here so i just kind of went through uh, you know imagined if i connect all these in a circle how they would look like and that's how i shape these points now usually you're going to have dimensions of these points from the origin for example dimensioning every single one of these points in a perfect manner uh, to create this so you can tell the de next designer where these points were placed or you know why are they were selected to be at that exact position okay so now i selected these i created these uh, seven points i'm going to click on okay to accept them and what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually connect them using a spline okay so if i click on spline right here and then start by my first point and just go over around every single one so there's one two and as you can see, when you go from one point to the next, the spline starts to be created. So it follows the points. So there's your fourth one, fifth, sixth, and last one. Okay, so obviously you can keep going with your point if you want to, but I'm going to click on escape to exit my spline. Now, if this shape does not, if you don't like the shape for any reason, you can always click on it and just move it a little bit up, down, wherever you want it. Just give it a nice smooth shape now you you can move this in two ways you can click on these points and move these points a little bit left a little bit up and down just to give it a little bit better maybe a little bit more professional look if you don't like this look for example i'm gonna i'm gonna just make it as more as much smooth and professional as i can uh, another way to do this if you click on the line and then there's these arrows that you will see on the left side and the right side if you actually expand these arrows back and forth they will stretch the line in a certain direction okay and you can do this with all the points that you've created all right so now that you're done over here uh just go ahead and click on okay so i'm gonna accept this spline that i've created and if i just rotate my part you're gonna see that i just created a spline on the side of the vase so this spline using these points connected by the points or the you know the spline connected by the points yeah seven points that i've created on the side of the spline now i'm going to uh, need to create some kind of uh profile that i can go back to the features and use the sweep to create the entire handle okay so let's go ahead and this is how you create the uh, spline with the dots to connect them so this is the handle of the vase in our next session i'm going to show you how to create the profile and as well as finish off the sweep of this uh, profile for the handle